in this session we are going to discuss capital budgeting what is meant by capital budgeting capital budgeting is involved when investors decide to make huge investments this investment is in capital assets that includes land building plant machinery equipment etc so whenever huge investment is required to be made in capital assets then capital budgeting is involved features of this type of huge investments include the following these decisions that is capital budgeting decisions have long term implications this investment is not for one day one month one year it is for years together so these decisions have long term implications since time period involved is long the element of uncertainty that is risk is also much higher these decisions cannot be reversed if at all these are reversed then the cost is very high hence whenever capital budgeting decisions are taken there is a need for proper evaluation before making such investment and there are various techniques available for capital budgeting decisions these techniques can be categorized into two one is non discounting techniques others are discounting techniques non discounting techniques again are there of two types in these techniques time value of money is not considered and these techniques involve number 1 pay back period method and second one is accounting rate of return method but remember these are non scientific methods and hence these are not used let us see what is payback period payback period means period of future cash flow which is equal to the initial investment so time period involved for future cash flows to be equal to the initial investment we can understand it better by way of an example let us see this example there are two projects project a and project b initial investment in these two projects is 20000 each as far project a is concerned the payback period is more than 3 years so 3000 in the first year 6000 in the second year and 9000 in third year so this total makes out to be 18000 crore this mean the payback period here is more than 3 years so this inflow this profit to be equal to 20000 which will take more than 3 years in case of project b this will take less than 3 years although in the first year the profit is zero 
but in second and third year it will be more than 20000 in all it is 21000 so whereas project a its payback period is more than 3 years payback period of project b is less than 3 years now it can be easily decided which project should be taken up so in this example project b will be taken up as the payback period is less so it is less than 3 years here it is more than 3 years in case of project a for this complete video or complete course on gib cib and promotion exam that is our e learning course please log in Thank you for watching this video.